In this video, I'm gonna give you guys five rules so that you can understand exactly how money works and why you're not making any money. If you follow these five rules, no matter what you do, you are going to make money and it's gonna be a really, really simple or really simple rules to follow. Now, if you wanna make money, you have to do arbitrage. And this simply means that you need to sell something at a price higher than what it costs you to either make it, it costs you to either buy it, or it costs you to have someone else do it for you. So a simple example here is this watermelon, right? And I'm doing this because this is just a really simple way for you guys to understand what I'm trying to say here or the point I'm trying to get across. So for example, this is a watermelon, right? It's a fruit, it's a full size watermelon and it's only for $5.98. Now you can buy this watermelon right here for $5.98. Uh, let's round it off at $6. So let's say you pay $6 for this watermelon. You can then divide this watermelon into four pieces. Now, after dividing this watermelon into four pieces, you could create four 16 ounce portions of cut watermelon like this. And as you can see right here, this is selling for $4.48. So let's say it's selling for $4.50, which means that if you sold all four of these, then you make around $18. So the total cost for the watermelon up front was $6. So basically you're tripling your money, or actually you spent $6 and you're doubling your money because you're getting like $12 in return. So yes, you're doubling whatever you spent up front. So you can simply go to Walmart and you could buy a watermelon like this this and you could go on the side of the street literally with some small bags and you could slice this watermelon and put it in there and then you could be like hey fresh watermelon for sale and guess what somebody's gonna be walking past and they're gonna be like you know what I'd love some watermelon right now and they're going to pay you four dollars and fifty cents for this so the main idea here is you need to use arbitrage and you need to sell something whether a product or a service at less than what it costs you to either purchase it, less than what it costs you to make it, or less than what it would cost somebody else to do it for you. Now, when you do it like this, for example, you spend $6 on this watermelon and then you make 19 or you made $18, you now take that $18 and you go back and you buy another watermelon and then you can redo the entire process. And now instead of making $19, you're gonna make $57 and then guess what? You reinvest that $57 and now you're gonna be making $171. And you can keep doing this over and over and over again until you're making thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars. So that's the main idea here. You always want to be using arbitrage to your advantage. Now that's only rule number one. And before I get into the rest of the rules, just a quick reminder, if you are new to the channel, my name is Ian. And on this channel, I talk about ways to make money, ways to save money, ways to invest your money. I talk about bank accounts, credit cards, just about everything to do with personal finance. So if you like these videos, you like these types of topics, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. It's 100% free, won't cost you anything. Also, be sure to subscribe with the notifications on. That way, you never miss the updates of when I post new videos. And if you guys ever wanna to talk to me one-on-one -on -one about this or just about anything else that I talk about here in the channel, you can message me on Instagram. The link is down below. But with that said, let's jump back into the five rules that will help you either make more money or keep more of the money that you make. Now, the second rule is you always wanna be making money. So before I give you guys the example of that watermelon where you could buy it, you could repurpose it, and then you could sell it for even more money. You could create a different product from that product, and then you could use the profits and reinvest, and you could keep doing that, and you could make a lot of money. However, if you're doing something like that and you're going on the street and you're doing that, then you can only do so much hours in the day. We can only do this for so many hours in the day. So the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna think of a product or some solution or something that you can find and you can either repurpose it or something that you can create or something that you can have someone else create for you and then you could have that available for sale 24 seven. Now this way you could actually be making money while you sleep, literally. So for example, this could be like an ebook, right? If you have an ebook online, then there's really no limit to the sales. You could be making money while you're sleeping, literally. Like you could go to bed at 8 p.m. and you could wake up at 8 a.m. and over those 12 hours, you could get hundreds of notifications on your phone of people actually buying your ebook or maybe it's like a different service or a different product. But the point is you wanna either create something, you wanna repurpose something, or you wanna have someone else create it for you. 
and this should be something that you can sell or you can market and you can make money from it even while you're not actually working. So those are the first two rules and the third rule is also very simple. The third rule is don't lose money. I mean, Warren Buffett even says this about investing. I think he says that the first rule of investing is don't lose money. And then the second rule of investing is don't forget the first rule. So with that said, don't waste your money on stupid things and try not to lose your money. For example, right? If you use the watermelon strategy, the example that I just gave you guys and you bought this watermelon for six bucks and then you repurposed and repackaged it and now it's selling for $18, then you don't wanna take the profits initially or some of the profits initially to go spend for your own leisure, right? Instead, you wanna reinvest all that money until you're making at least like a couple hundred dollars per day before you take any profits to go do something that you actually like. So similarly, don't lose money and don't waste your money on stupid things. Now, the next rule is also really simple and it's kind of like don't trust anyone, but at the same time, I don't wanna say don't trust anyone because you need to trust people sometimes. So let's say don't be naive of the dangers, right? So if you're in a business or you're creating a product or you're repurposing a product, and you're doing something that gives you a really good profit margin and you're making a lot of money, don't just assume that you can simply hand over your secrets to other people or even people that you uh, employ. Don't think that you can just lay out your entire business plan to them because guess what? You'll just essentially be creating competition for yourself. For example, if you're on the side of the street with this fruit stand and you're selling you know, watermelon slices and you're making a lot of money by doing this and you actually see someone with another fruit stand and they're not making as much money as you are and you go over to them and you say, hey, you know what? This is so easy. All I gotta do is go to Walmart and I buy this for six bucks and then it becomes $19 and you explain to them your strategy and how you're able to make $4,000 every single day. Then now you're just creating competition for yourself and you're giving away your secrets. Also, don't be naive in the sense where you pay someone to go do like shopping and inventory for you and then you're not actually tracking the money or what they're spending and also not tracking the goods that they're bringing in because they could actually be stealing from you and this can actually cost you a lot. Now this also goes back to the other rule which is don't lose money but you don't want to be naive and you don't want to just simply trust everyone because that way you can lose a lot of money and you could also end up losing whatever product you're repurposing, you're creating or you're having someone else create for you and you could lose your market share and you can even end up losing your entire business and not being able to make money anymore. Now finally the last rule I want to leave with you guys is to stop saving money because saving money is not going to make you rich. Now the only thing that saving money is going to do is to provide you with a sense of security or serve as a rainy day fund. So instead of thinking about saving, think about creating an emergency fund, think about creating like a six month emergency fund where that will give you peace of mind where if you're not making any money or something bad happens, you actually have some money to cover any unexpected expenses quickly. And so you don't go thinking about saving money as a pathway to becoming rich or wealthy. Instead, what you should be thinking of is investing that money. So again, going back to my first example with the watermelon, right? If you were to buy this watermelon for $6 and you repurposed it, you repackaged it, you sold it and you made $18, it would be unwise for you to then take $6, go back, buy another watermelon, and then save $12. I mean, you could do it that way, and every time you repurpose and resell this watermelon, you would save $12, because it only takes you $6 to go back and do the same thing over again. And then maybe you would save a couple hundred dollars every day if you did it like this. But if you simply just reinvested most of that money or all of that money initially, then you could start making thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars much faster. So the point is, don't focus so much on saving money, but instead reinvest your money. And by reinvesting, I mean you could reinvest in your business or whatever product you're repurposing or whatever product you're creating or whatever you're having someone else create for you. Or you could start a totally different business or you could invest in something like real estate or the stock market. But the point is you want to be reinvesting your money and not trying to save your way into financial freedom or independence. Now, this stuff is really not that complicated. This is just really simple stuff. All you got to do is follow these five rules and this will help you to one, 
make a lot of money and to keep a lot of the money that you have made. And with that said, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on my five rules. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content, if you want to keep these free videos coming. Also, be sure to subscribe with the notifications on. This way you don't miss the updates of when I post new videos. And also, if you guys ever want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can message me on Instagram. I'm leaving that link down below in the description. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. All the best with making money. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.